Hey guys, welcome to part nine of the DVD collection. We are just gonna finish off this whole shelf, finishing off the rest of the S's and getting through uh, the first part of the T's. So, we got Super Size Me, really, really good. Superstar, that's just okay. Surf Nazis Must Die. Surf's Up, uh, which is pretty decent. Surf's Up 2, Wave Mania. Haven't watched this, um, but I think I need to because I literally have no idea why they put a bunch of wrestlers in a penguin surfing movie. Surveillance. Surviving Compton, Dre, Shug, and Michelle. That's not very good. Sweet Home Alabama. Sweet Virginia. Swept Away. Let's get stuck together. Come on. Ah, uh, there we go. Swing time. Swimming with sharks. Sydney White. Synecdoche, New York. Syrup. Taffin. Tai Chi Master. Taking Lives. <laughs> Tales from the Crapper. Some uh, trauma there. Tales from the Crypt double feature. This comes with uh, Demon Knight, which is absolutely fantastic. Highly recommend that. And Bordello of Blood, which I have not yet watched. Tales from the Dark Side of the movie. Tall Tales from the Magical Garden of Antoon Krings. Uh, if he's a cricket, that's news to me because he's modeled after the um, he's modeled after Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> you like jazz? Taxi. A lot of people don't like this movie. I think it's pretty entertaining. Teacher of the Year. Teacher's Pet. Teaching Mrs. Tingle. Eh, it's not bad. They advertise this as a horror movie, and it's not really a horror movie. It's more of like a, a drama or a thriller. Um, but it's alright. Tears of the Sun, the extended cut. That's a pretty good movie. And then for some Tech 9, we have Eurotech Tour. KOD Tour, live in Kansas City, Strictly Strange, and The Psychumentary. Uh, Tech 9 is in my top five. Uh, he is just an amazing rapper. Uh, I absolutely love him. And a lot of the strange music people, too. Uh, they're very, very good. Teenage Space Vampires. Tell Me How I Die. Pterodactyl, which just looks awful. Terror in the Air, this is a nine movie set from Echo Bridge that comes with Crash Landing. Airborne, uh, Air Boss, Air Boss 2, Preemptive Strike, Air Boss 3, The Payback, Air Boss 4, The, De uh, the X Factor, uh, The President's Plane is Missing, Death Flight, and Storm. Tenacious D and The Pick of Destiny, really good movie, uh, one of the best albums of all time, and uh, rest in peace, Meatloaf. Uh, you will sorely be missed. That's a that's a talent that's gone. Uh, Tenacious D, The Complete Masterworks. This is like the, the complete HBO series. Thanks Killing, The Complete Collection, comes with Thanks Killing and Thanks Killing 3. Uh, there is no 2 because uh, the whole plot of 3 revolves around that. Tequila Sunrise. Thank you for smoking. That's Entertainment, the complete collection. I got this for uh, three bucks at Half Price Books. Uh, they have another set that goes for like 20 bucks. The, uh, the discs and everything are in perfect condition. That's Entertainment, parts one, two, and three, and then Treasures from the Vault. Uh, it's just the box is in pretty ratty condition, so I figure three bucks for that. That's pretty good. That's My Bush, the definitive collection, the complete series. That's So Sweet Life of Hannah Montana. That's some good childhood fun there. Uh, that Thing You Do, The West Side, uh, it's a decent documentary. The Sixth Day, pretty good Schwarzenegger movie. The Sixth Man, The Forty-Year-Old Virgin, really, really good. The Absent-Minded Professor, classic Disney. The Abyss, I have not seen this yet, I gotta watch that. The Accused, what is this? 
The Accidental Spy, The Adventures of Ford Fairlane, The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad, The Adventures of Pluto Nash, by far and away a horrible movie. I would not recommend that whatsoever. Uh, the Adventures of Robin Hood. This has got a ton of extra features on this. Uh, I gotta watch this. I hear it's fantastic. The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle. It's pretty decent. The Adventures of Shark Boy and Lava Girl in 3D. Uh, it's it's all right. It's a movie I did grow up with and I and that I liked, and I'm glad that it has a bit of a cult following, especially with that um, that follow up they did. Uh, we can be heroes. So yeah, not too bad. The, uh, the Alamo, that's the original. The Alphabet Killer. The Amityville Haunting from uh, The Asylum. A lot of people might look at this as an Asylum ripoff, but considering how many frickin' Amityville movies there are, this is probably canon. So, <laughs> uh, the Animatrix, I have not watched this yet. Um, for some reason, the Blu-ray set I bought does not come with this, so I gotta watch this. I'm trying to get into more anime, so... The Archer, this also comes with Taken in Broad Daylight and Headhunter. And some more classic Disney with The Apple Dumpling Gang and The Apple Dumpling Gang Rides Again. Those are two really funny movies. Uh, the Aristocrats, pretty decent documentary about just one joke. And uh, again, rest in peace, Bob Saget. The Art of Action, Martial Arts in the Movies. This is a documentary. I have not watched that yet. The Art of War, which is pretty decent. The Art of War 2, Betrayal, which is decent. And then The Art of War 3, Retribution, which is okay. The Assassin Next Door. The Baby Looney Tunes is Extraordinary Adventure. I love the Baby Looney Tunes. The Back Nine. There's an action set here. This comes with uh, The Base with Mark Dacascos. The Base 2, Guilty as Charged. Uh, the Borderline, which has Marley Shelton in it. Some Dolph Lundgren movies with the original Punisher, Detention, and Hidden Agenda. Diplomatic Siege, which uh, has Daryl Hannah in it, and Extreme Justice. The Basketball Diaries. The Baytown Outlaws. This also comes with Allies, Death Squad, Goodbye World, Morning Star, and Catch Hell. The Beat That My Heart Skipped. The Beautician and the Beast. This looks cheesy, but this looks like so much fun. The uh, Best of the Colbert Report. The Best of the Source Awards Volume 1 uh, Hip Hop History. I got this because, uh, A, I'm a huge lover of hip hop, and, and B, last year I was doing my Tupac Marathon, which is why in Part 11 you're going to see a, a bunch of Tupac documentaries. This is really shoddy i would not recommend this um it's cool seeing a bunch of these clips but they're just thrown together without any rhyme reason or coherence it's not a documentary it's basically a clip show also comes with a second disc of uh, unsigned hype yeah I, I wouldn't recommend this at all it's kind of bad big bang theory season one i, I do like the show i just haven't gotten the uh, other seasons the big chill the Big Hit, which is actually pretty decent. The Big Tease. The Bird Cage. The Bird Men. The Birds. The Black Dahlia. The Blair Witch Project, classic. The Bleeding. This is a horror action movie that has Vinnie Jones, uh, DMX, Michael Madsen, Kat Von D, and Armand Asante. Uh, I really have to watch this now. The original, uh, The Blob, and then the remake of The Blob. The Bloodlands. The Boatniks. The Bodyguard, and then The Bodyguard 2. If you remember a couple parts ago when I was talking about uh, that other Bodyguard movie that I have, I don't know if it's related to those two movies, um, but yeah. The Body Tree. The Bone Collector. Uh, the Boogeyman, and then Return of the Boogeyman. So um, 
I do have all of the Boogeyman movies. The others are just under B. The Bouncer, really good Van Damme movie. The Box, that's just all right. The Brave One. The Breakup, it's pretty good. The Bronx Bull. The Brother Solomon. The Children of the Corn Collection. This just comes with uh, two, three, four, five, six, 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 and Revelation. The Christmas Switch. The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. The Cincinnati Kid. The City of Violence. The Civil War, a film by Ken Burns. The Clove Hitch Killer. The Comebacks. Uh, I, this is a funny movie. I, I enjoy it. Stupid as hell, but I enjoy it. The uh, Comedians of Comedy. Uh, I love Pat and Oswalt. Definitely got to watch this. Oh, it's got David Cross on it, too. Yeah. The Comic Kids. The Come Up, Rich Homie Kwan, also featuring Young Jeezy, Gucci Mane, Trinidad James, YG, Migos, T.I. Oh, wow. Such a great DVD. I found this at a thrift store. I, I don't, I don't, I gotta watch this. <laughs> uh, the Company, haven't watched this. Only reason I picked it up was for Nev. The Complete Shiloh Collection. Shiloh, Shiloh 2, Shiloh Season, and Saving Shiloh. The first two movies are really good. Third one's decent. The Contractor. The Convent. The Cook. Four movies set here of The Cookout, uh, which I've seen, and it's all right. Um, Sprung, I Heart Miami, and Foolish. The Cottage. Count of Monte Cristo, The Country Bears, The Covenant, I heard this is horrible, I gotta watch that, The Crescent also comes with Hindsight and Memory, The Crow, City of Angels, highly underrated, I really, I really like this movie a lot, The Crow Salvation, also extremely underrated, I would also highly recommend that. And the Crow Wicked Prayer, pretty terrible. That one's actually, I, I don't, I really didn't like that one. The Curve, uh, pretty decent. The Cutter, also pretty good. The Dane Cook Collection. This comes with Dane Cook's Tourgasm and then the DVD and CD versions of Vicious Circle. The Dark Half. The Dawn Seeker. The Dead Walking, uh, this is a 10-movie zombie set, comes with, uh, is Night of the Living Dead on here? No, that's actually surprising. Uh, Destined to be Ingested, Revolt of the Zombies, Zombies vs. Strippers, Diner, get it? Oh, come on. The Last Man on Earth, River of Darkness, Mortuary, I Eat Your Skin, Ashes, and Autumn. The Deal. The Death of Mr. Lazarescu. The Dead Collector. I gotta pick up the second movie because uh, I've seen them both. These are both really good movies. Hope they do a third one. Uh, the Defender with uh, Jet Li and then The Defender with uh, Dolph Lundgren. The Demon Within. The Detonator. The Devil Incarnate. The Devil's Advocate. The Devil's Own, a pretty decent crime movie. The Devil's Restaurant, this also comes with toe tags and how to be a serial killer. The Devil's Tomb. The Diary of a Teenage Girl. The Distinguished Gentleman. The Divine Move. The Doors. The Driver. Double feature of The Dukes of Hazard and The Dukes of Hazard: The Beginning. I've not watched The Beginning, but I do really enjoy The Dukes of Hazard movie. Uh, Jessica Simpson can't act, but it's a fun movie. The Easter Bunny is coming to town. Uh, the Eclipse. The Edge. 
the Emperor's New Groove. Uh, Jet Li's The Enforcer. And then this is the Dragon Dynasty version of The Enforcer. Uh, if, if I'm correct, um, I would highly recommend getting both Dimension and um, Dragon Dynasty versions of a movie if you can. Because a lot of times, um, not only are the Dragon Dynasty releases a lot better, but a lot of times they are the uncut versions. A lot of times some of the dialogue gets changed around in the Dimension versions. I don't know why. The Enormity of Life, a really good independent movie from, uh, from Cleveland. Uh, I've talked with the director many, many times. He's very, very nice. Um, yeah. The Escapist. The X. This I actually have to get out of here because uh, I, I, I have this on Blu-ray now, but it's The Exorcism of Emily Rose. It's a fantastic movie. I'll just, I'll just pull all this stuff out. The Exorcist 3. The Eye. And then The Fairly Odd Parents Channel Chasers. Fairy Idol. Scary Godparents and Schools Out the Musical. All right, hold on. Let me switch hands. There we go. All righty. And then uh, Timmy's Top Wishes. The Family Man. The Fan. Pretty decent movie. The Fifth Commandment. The Final Cut. The Final Destination. I, I hate this movie. I, it's so stupid. The Firm. The Fly uh, and The Fly 2. Uh, the Fog, the remake. I have not seen either version. The Forbidden Kingdom. The Foreigner. The Forgotten. The Fourth Angel. The Friday Collection, this comes with the classic Friday, which I do have on Blu-ray, but it also comes with Next Friday, which is not really very good, and it also comes with Friday After Next, which is just okay. Friday just should have been a one and done. The Fun House Massacre, The Game, The Game Plan, good movie, <laughs> The Games Presents Stop Snitch and Stop Lying, uh, gotta watch that. The Gathering, The General's Daughter, The Getaway, The Ghost Beyond, this also comes with Beneath the Mississippi and Legacy of Evil, The Girl in the Crawl Space, Jack Ketchum's The Girl Next Door, and then The, uh, the Girl Next Door, the, the movie with uh, Emile Hirsch, The Glass House, pretty decent movie, still gotta get the sequel, The Glimmer Man, Classic Seagal. The Good Girl, The Good Son, I like that movie a lot, The Great Outdoors, The Great Raid, uh, this is a double feature that comes with Jailbait and The Great St. Louis Bank Robbery, The Grudge, uh, which is pretty decent, The Grudge 2, which I'm so glad I rewatched, because uh, I hated this when I first watched it, and after some time, I actually really do enjoy this. And then The Grudge 3, which is just okay. The new one's also pretty decent. I, I know I'm in the minority with that. The Hand That Rocks the Cradle. The Hardcore. The Hard Way. This is a fun movie. Highly recommend that one. The Haunted Mansion. The Heartbreak Kid. The Heart of the Game. The Hexecutioners. Then we got The Hitcher. The Hitcher 2, I've Been Waiting. And then the remake to The Hitcher. All three of those I have not seen. The Hitchhiker. Uh, I think this is the complete series from HBO. This set, this set, this two-disc set went for like $100. And I had no idea because I found it at Dollar Tree. Now I guess because it has been popping up at Dollar Tree, it goes for like 8 or $9. <laughs> 
The Hitman Never Dies. This also comes with Busted and Play Dead. The Hollywood Nights. The Hours. The House Party Collection. This comes with Get Over It, which is pretty decent. Underclassmen, which is okay. Senseless, which is pretty decent. American Virgin, which is horrible. Ride, which is decent. Don't be a menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood, which is great. My Boss's Daughter, which is pretty decent. And 50 Pills, which was horrible. The Hot Chick, funny movie. I like that one a lot. The Howling. And then The Howling Reborn. I do have the other Howling movies. However, they're just called Howling, so they're under H. Uh, I don't have the seventh one. It was only released on VHS, so I don't have a DVD copy of it. The Human Stain. The Hungover Games. That's just all right. The Hunted. And then we'll finish up this part here with The Hunt for Eagle 1 and its sequel, The Hunt for Eagle 1 Crash Point. So that's it. Stay tuned for part 10 where we finally start uh, tackling the final shelf. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.